Yo, what is up, you are back, and today, do you see what's on the screen right now? 130 Catel Martes. If you want to know how I got all of these stubs to invest of all of these different players, I'm worth like 1.8 million stubs right now, no money spent, then watch the entire video, because we have the best stub making methods on MLB The Show 24 right now. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, Discord link down below, where I give out all these great methods. We have a membership program where if you're a member, then you're invested just like me, you've got a bunch of stubs. Today, Brand new stub making method that I haven't even done personally, but I could recommend strongly to a lot of you guys. Now listen, big shout out to Warhammers in the Discord for this idea, because this method is definitely profitable. I haven't done it, uh, but I definitely can recommend it. We're going to go off some of his advice. So investing in these bronze starting pitchers for their starts. You want to filter it to max 75 overall position starting pitcher. Now why do we want to look at the bronzes, right? Well, really, if we look at the marketplace as a whole right now, these bronzes, man, they're overpriced starting pitchers. Look, let's look at the table. Garrett Crochet. You're telling me he's priced as if he's getting a plus six to his overall. It doesn't matter how dominant he's been, how good he's been doing. There's no chance in hell he deserves to get a plus six overall. I, 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 let's be real. He deserves it maybe, but SDS isn't going to give him a plus six. Maybe they give him a plus three, plus four. Highly unlikely he goes gold in one update. Guys like Grayson Rodriguez. Yes, he's played very well. Two starts. Only, he's got 12 innings pitched, 16 strikeouts. That's huge. And only three walks. Yes, he deserves a boost, but should he be priced as a 79 overall right now? Probably not. Let's look at his marketplace trend. Look at that. A couple days ago, you could have bought in at a low price, and he went to 400 stubs plus. Now he's back down. Now, a guy like this is very high risk, because one more good start, he'll probably go back up to 400 again. But you can't be gambling on guys like this. You have to find the new people that are going to actually make the breakout case. Cole Reagans, I'm pretty sure his price has been pretty high the entire year, but you can see it's definitely oscillated between his starts, has a good performance, and he goes up in price a lot. So a guy like this could make you stubs investing in, but too much risk. Gotta find the next people that are going to break out. So here's some guys to target. One thing you should do, pull up the MLB app, and you can look at the people who are starting pitchers the next couple days. Now, instead of looking for names of guys you know that you know are doing good, look for random people. Like today, we have a guy from the Phillies, Spencer Turnbull. Who the hell? I'm a Phillies fan, man. I know, I know who Spencer Turnbull is because I'm a Phillies fan, but who the hell is Spencer Turnbull, man? Now, Spencer Turnbull, the reason he is actually not too bad for this investment, first off, not much risk. A quick sell for a bronze is 25 stubs, so definitely not too bad. But now if we look at and actually see how he performed his first time out. One start, one win, five innings pitched, zero runs, seven strikeouts, zero walks, three hits. Pretty dominant first performance. Pitches today against the Cardinals. It doesn't really matter how he does because look, let's see his price. If, look, look at the oscillations in that buy now price. If he has another good performance today, which he probably won't because he's a bronze, he's not like quote unquote good, right? Not dominant. But these bronzes price, their prices have been reacting a lot to their pitching performances. So find some bronze starting pitchers. We're gonna look at some right now based on Warhammer's list, all right? So guys that he has, oh my, God, there it is. All right, so guys that he's made some stubs off of already, Tanner Houck, he said he's made some stubs off of. Let's look at that. Tanner Houck, not a good investment right now, but you can see his price definitely has been north of 300. Uh, you know, he's a bronze. Terrible investment right now, but he's definitely already made some stubs. Let's look at another guy, Zach Little. Let's see how it's gonna be fun spelling these guys' names. So this one's a little bit less risky. You can see his price. Oh, we're gonna. I hate the marketplace, man. His price is a little bit above uh, quick sell. Basically, pricing as a silver right now. You can see his price has been close to 200 about a week ago, and it's been around 100 for his buy now the last couple days. So if he has another good start, we can see this guy's price actually go through the roof a little bit. Two starts, 11 innings pitched, 0.8 ERA, 11 strikeouts, 11. Is that, am I, is that right? 11 strikeouts, 9 hits, 2 walks. So pretty strong stats from a guy like this. This is a guy that could potentially go up. Now, Jack Flaherty is another one. People are saying Jack Flaherty is back, and as a result, his price is also back a little bit. You can see his price. His price is a silver, plus 5 overall. It's kind of nuts. Look at his price a couple days ago after his start. He went to 300 just for one performance. You buy him at this price right now, and then you sell him off for 4 times your, your amount of stubs that you invested. Now, the reason that, you know, I might not be recommending this as much, this is definitely one of the most profitable methods right now. This guy is 12 innings pitched, 12 strikeouts, does have 13 hits given up, 
only one wall. So he's, he's fishing well, but the reason I might not recommend this, there's only one reason. You need to do high quantity on a guy like this. Like, to make stubs, yeah, you're gonna have four times your investment. You gotta have like 500 of the player. For instance, let's take a look at a bronze investment that I've recently made, right? Jared Walsh. Now, I, I've made this investment for a different reason, bronze to gold exchange. You know, if you don't know what that is, that'll be coming out soon. The members know what that is. We're targeting some guys. Look how many I have. I have 600. I put in a thousand buy orders. I already sold 30, 300 off or something like that for two times my stubs. But a guy like Jared Walsh, right? Look at how many I have, 600. It's so tedious, so mind-numbing. You know, you gotta get a high amount of orders in on these guys. At least 100, I would say, if you're doing one of these starting pitcher flips. The good thing is, if you buy 100 of a bronze for 50 stubs, then that's only 5,000 stubs invested. And when you 4X that, they go to 200 stubs briefly after their start or during their start, you can sell off for a 15,000 stub profit, right? So that's great. You're making a lot of stubs fast. They are kind of risky though, depending on who you're actually going to be looking at. Let's look at another guy, Tyler Anderson. How many Tylers are, gonna be, are there gonna be in the MLB? Oh man, it's a lot. Tyler Anderson, terrible stats. He's you know relatively close to, I wouldn't pay more than 38, you know, more than 40 stubs. More than 40 stubs and you know, you're definitely overpaying a little bit, but there are some guys that you can overpay for and make a hell of a lot of profit quick. It's just a lot more risky in my opinion. Let's look at a guy like Tyler Anderson. One start, seven innings pitched, no runs, five strikeouts, two walks. How did his price shift based on that? You can see a, a, week, a couple weeks ago, he was at 100 stubs plus, and then he hasn't broken 100 stubs since. So this is kind of a risk-free investment, just you know, basing it off of, can he have another good start? Allen Winnins, no, we're not gonna, eh, I mean, Allen Winnins, apparently according to Warhammers, this guy is replacing Spencer Strider from his injury. So he's probably gonna be very close to quick sell. Look at that, he's literally quick sell. His price hasn't changed much at all, but this is a guy who could have a, you know, this is a guy who's zero risk and he's going to have some potential starting performances. One good start puts him on everyone's radar and then his price goes up through the roof. So basically it's about flipping bronze starting pitchers who are potentially geared for good performances have already had good performances, who are relatively low risk, and who can end up in a spot like Garrett Crochet, but more realistically, in a spot like Reed Demers, where he recently just had a good start, and his price shot up through the roof, but still kind of realistic, you know what I mean? This is not a bad price to be selling off at all. If you bought him yesterday, you know, if you bought him yesterday at 40 stubs, he's 160 today. So not everyone can have 10 strikeouts or whatever in one game, especially these bronze nobodies but it's definitely some good risk-free investments to make some stubs. Join the membership. We'll talk about it in there. Peace out. Thanks for watching.